Here's why your kids don't listen to you and how to fix it. Before you punish your kids, yell at them, send them to boarding school or something, please listen to this story. We all have people in our lives who occasionally knock on our door and then essentially they ask to come in because they want us to convert to their religion. But no way, like these people are just strangers to me. Like in my religion, politics is extremely personal to me. I'm not gonna like convert or change my religion because like some stranger knocked on my door. I don't really care about them, how they think, their religion, or like why they came there. No offense to them, it's just not my thing. But, 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 if one of my best friends, one of my favorite people in life that I've been through stuff with, if they were to give me a call and they're say, hey, Sean, um, I got something really important going on in my life and I want to tell you about it and I think you might be interested, I would be like, dang, let's go. Like, let me put some stakes on, come on over. I'd love to hear you out. So the moral of the story is a simple word. The word is connection, connection. A tale of two relationships. So if you got a troubled kid, maybe don't yell, maybe don't punish. Instead, spend more time more energy, more resources on connection. Listen to them, enjoy them, play with them, hang with them, spend quality time with them, nurture that connection. And then after you do that, when you knock on the door of their life, and you ask to come in, because you want to teach, you want to parent, you want to guide, and you say, hey, can I come in? And they will say, yeah, come on in. Come on. If you need more help, contact me.